staying in a van can have its problems, so keep watching to see some of the simple hacks that we use to make it easier. Thanks for watching our video and as always if you have any questions or feedback please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful please like, share and consider subscribing. As anyone who's stayed in a van knows, space is a premium, so having different options for where you can stash things is really important. Hooks are a great option for keeping things off surfaces or seats, but when they have nothing on them they can get in the way and it's amazing how much they can hurt when you catch yourself on them on the way to the toilet. We fitted these folding hooks easily found on Amazon or elsewhere like Ikea, which give us extra hanging options when we need them for wet coats, visitors coats, hats, keys and safely fold away when we're not using them. If you're blessed with being somewhere hot in your van, it can be really hot inside your van and having some options for different fans in different places can be a great help. We found these USB powered almost silent fans to be really useful. They give just enough breeze to give a light relief and as we've got USB sockets in various positions around the van, we can put them where we want them. In a van, as you move around, things break and get lost. We've just got used to that. It might be a tap, a cooker knob or a door catch, but finding replacements when you're on the road is hard. So being able to make a repair or a replacement could help make the rest of your trip much easier. Other than normal gaffer tape and super glue, something we carry which has saved us a few times is polymorph. It's a thermoplastic material that can be shaped and reshaped any number of times. It's supplied in granules and it can be heated in hot water and when it reaches 62 degrees Celsius, the granules form a mass of clear plastic material. When removed from the hot water, it can be shaped by hand into almost any form. cooling it becomes a strong solid material. Obviously you can't use it where it's going to get hot but despite this we've found it really useful for the space that it takes up. For those of us with an area at the back of the van that can be accessed from outside and maybe with a touch of OCD going out and continuously checking whether it's locked is a bit of a pain. We've added a door chime to our rear doors and this could be as simple as a PIR driveway chime or a wired doorbell sounder to a door switch. It gives us the reassurance that no one can sneak into the back if we've not locked it to grab something without us knowing. I've saved the best topic till last for week one which is the chemical toilet. We didn't like the smell or the cost of traditional blue chemicals and I know lots of people have tried alternatives such as commercial green chemicals or even no chemicals with or without a SOG extraction system. But for us, we found the best and the cheapest is simple, cheap, biological washing liquid. It smells better than the blue, it seems to keep control of the other smells and it's really easy to get hold of. Plus, it means when we need to do some washing, we've always got some liquid to hand. That's it for part one. Hopefully at least one of those has been useful for you and I'll share some more with you next week. As always, if you have any questions or feedback, pop them in the comments below and if you've got any ideas for hacks that make your life more simple, pop them in there too. Keep up to date by hitting the subscribe button and you can visit us at explorevan.uk where you can read more about us, our vans and our trips.